Hey guys, in this video, we are going to test out Unsloth fine tuning exercises with the help of Docker image that they have just released. So Unsloth has now a Docker image. And if you go to Unsloth slash Unsloth on hub.docker.com, you can see this Docker image. You can use this image to fine tune uh, different notebooks that they have already uploaded. Now, in order to get started, what I'm going to show you is uh, two things. First, I'm going to show you on an Ubuntu system, uh, which I have already installed on my Windows PC. And I'm going to go and show on RunPods as well. Now, if you want to test out on RunPods GPUs, you can go to get.runpod.io slash PE48. And once you go there and sign up today to get a random credit of $5 to $500, you spend your first $10. Now, I got about $30 when I signed in for the first time. But let's see your luck. You can go ahead and try this out. Check out RunPod and recharge with $10. Get some credits you can claim your bonus create an account so we have an interface like this and in this interface we go to parts here and you can see we have so many different uh gpus that you can use you can go as cheap as for example this one uh 0.25 dollars per hour or you can go which is a 16 gb uh, gpu here we have a 20 gb vram uh, gpu as well uh, which is 0.25 dollars per hour but you can go as high as for example the 5.69 dollars per hour which is 180 gb gpu before we go to the run bot let's go ahead and test it out on our local system this is the official post on x the unsloth has a docker image train llms locally without no setup just run the image and go includes every pre-made unsloth notebook you don't have to install anything when you run the docker image because we are capturing the image and we are making a container it's so easy to get started many of these docker images many of the libraries that we have while we install unsloth doesn't work on windows and it's difficult to work on windows therefore we need to select a linux environment and therefore i've selected ubuntu so you can go ahead and install ubuntu but once you have ubuntu on your system now we can go ahead and install docker so this is my ubuntu system and you can see that uh, these are the different folders that i have and uh, let's go ahead and install docker for this so for installing docker you can go to google and search for docker image linux and then you can go to the first link install docker desktop on linux now i have an ubuntu system i click on ubuntu and then i will get some requirements let's focus on this set our docker's package repository see step one of the install using the apt repository so i'm going to go ahead here and try to install using the apt repository now we run all uh, the following commands so we need to run all these now instead of running all this one by one what i'm going to do is just make a shell script and then run that script so for that i'm going to go back to docker and i'm going to create a new folder so make directory 30 youtube so we have a new directory here which is 30 youtube youtube i go inside the folder cd or change directory to youtube and then i'm going to go ahead and list we have nothing here i'm gonna make a new file uh, using the nano command so nano let's say setup.sh so this is a shell file so we say a nano setup.sh and we press enter then we need to write the commands here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, copy this commands and just right click here so we have the commands we say control x and then i say y and then i say enter so this will write everything on the setup.sh now i can say cat setup.sh we can see that we don't have permission here so we can say ls.la and i can see that we don't have the executable uh permission here so rwx is not available here so i can go ahead and uh, say chmod plus x and uh, just put in the name of the file sh and now if you go ahead and see we can see that we have the executable so we go ahead and say setup.sh and we can see that this is starting so this is going to install so that's done so next we are going to run this specific command so we copy this and paste it here install docker ce docker cli and i say yes and this is going to install the docker cli and everything needed so that's done now we can go ahead and see the status so i can say sudo uh, system ctl uh, status docker and you can see that it's running we can see it's active now and then you can just start uh, the docker here uh, but since this is already running we don't need to run this we can go ahead and try this so sudo docker run hello world this is a simple hello world docker if this runs uh, everything is good 
so you can see that we uh, are able to successfully run this hello from docker so everything works here so now let's go back to the unsloth for the unsloth we need to pull this image so this image is basically unsloth and unsloth so we can say docker pull unsloth unsloth if you press enter you can see that it is going to pull unsloth now i already have installed this once or pull this once therefore it's going to show that it's present on my system but for you it's going to take some time so you can go ahead and take a look at the images so you can see that we have this image already being pulled it's about 17 gb six days ago i was thinking of making this video but here i am today making this video so now we have unslot unslot on our computer the image only which is a docker image now we need to run this image or uh, make a container and run this image and try out different fine tuning exercises now for that you can use this command i can see here or what you can do is you can go ahead and make this as a docker compose file let me show you so if i go back to cd and list the directories i've already made unsloth folder here so if i go to the 28 number folder which is unsloth and clear everything up and see the list of files that i have so i made this docker compose file if we go ahead and check out the docker compose file we can see that we have services unsloth images this we have container name is unsloth then environment jupyter port is 8000 jupyter password is my password user password is unsloth 2024 we have the uh, ports here 8000 is mapped to 8000 and then volume is this uh, we restart um, unless stop so we run this docker compose file and it's a pretty uh, good way to keep this settings ready so you can just call this and run this docker compose file we don't need uh, to run this in this format and all with all the difficulties you can just make a docker compose file now for running this we can say docker compose up that d but again i have made a shell script here and if you go ahead and check the contents of the shell script here we can see that it's just docker compose up dash d now what i can do is i can just run the uh, shell script so start unsloth.sh of course and just as the previous one we need to make uh, the changes uh, of the permissions as well using chmod plus executable and we want to make this executable so once this is done you can uh, check and go ahead and look at the permission that you have so we can see that it's an executable file here so we can execute that we can go back and say um, start unsloth and i can just run this so the container is running here and you can see that we have this port of 8000 so let me go ahead and check if we really have 8000 so i can say localhost and 8000 this uh, should start up so this is the jupyter lab and you can see that it's the jupyter lab which has been created on a, a container which has been made using the unsloth official docker image now we can see that we have a tons of notebooks that you can use for fine tuning so for example you can go to this falcon h1 alpaca so you can go ahead and see and run this we don't need to install anything just run this notebook and everything will be fine uh you can go ahead and for example conversational llama 3 8 billion we want to fine tune on this so we import the libraries uh then we go ahead and load the model the tokenizers and then we load uh, the different parameters that we want and you can go ahead and prepare the data i'm moving fast on this because i have numerous videos uh, that has been created on unsloth so if you go to my channel and search for unsloth then you would be able to see tons of videos so free fine-tuning ai with unsloth and olama in five steps we can see that dynamic quantization on unsloth unsloth and you can see uh, this video create your own data set on unsloth you can see this fine tuning exercise when there's so many different examples that you can test but uh in this video i have shown you how to set this up and how to get started on this now this is how we get started on your local system and you can see here uh, if you go ahead and clear everything you can see that if you say docker ps then you can see uh, the list of uh, list of containers that are running so one uh, the one of the container is this unsloth which is the first one here and i also have another container which is running which is a uh, kali linux but that's for a different video but for now we can see that we have this unsloth container running here so in to stop the container it's pretty easy docker compose down is the command now let's go ahead and check out a uh, run pods and how we can get started uh, on one of the pods here so if i go ahead and go to my templates here and in my templates i have created a template so this is a template that you can use as well so you can search for this prompt underscore template underscore unsloth one this template if you see go ahead and edit the template what i've done is created a new template and put in the name make it a public template this is a pod 
NVIDIA GPU. The name of the image is unsloth slash unsloth, which is this one. I can see the Docker image here. And uh, we have increased this to 100 GB, 100 GB here. And in the HTTP ports, we put in HTTP of 80, HTTPS 443, and 18888 Jupyter port. And in the TCP, we put an SSH of 22 number. We put in the environment variables as well, which is prompt here, Jupyter password, and user password is the USR underscore prompt. So once we have that, we're going to go ahead and save the template because you're going to use this template. We're going to go ahead to pods and inside the pods, we can select any of the pods here. I'm going to go to this RTX A6000. I can change the template here, go to my local templates. So these are the different templates, other community templates and the templates given by run pod. But I can go ahead and choose my template here, which is prompt template under unsloth one. And I can just click deploy on demand so it's going to take all the settings from the template that i've created and it's going to activate this pod uh, with the docker image uh, that we have seen with the unsloth unsloth docker image it's going to create a load that docker image on the pods or on the gpu as a container and you will be able to use this so you can see that at the back end uh, so if you're waiting for connection you're going to go ahead and uh, see the details here as well so you can see that uh, the gpu is uh, rtx a6000 you can see the v cpu 16 memories 62 gb and then you can go ahead and see the list of prices that we have we have put the start command as well which i forgot to mention in the my template section this is a start command uh, for the jupiter and uh, you can go to logs here and you can see that the model is getting ready it's downloading the image the image file is about 6 gb and it's downloading that so you can see that this is completed now i can go back to connect and you can see that uh, this port is ready you can go to jupiter here jupiter lab is going to open now in the password section i think i put my password here yes no okay Let's go to the template. Uh, I forgot. Actually, you can go to this template. You can go to edit templates and you can see the environment variables. Uh, so the Jupyter password is just prompt. I'm gonna go ahead and put in prompt. Click on login. This should allow me to access the Jupyter notebooks. Now, just as we have seen on the local systems, we can use this unsloth notebooks folder here as well. And you can see that we have all these notebooks here. So you can see that we have about 80 notebooks here, and you can use all these notebooks for different LLMs, different configurations. You can use this again. You can go ahead and check out my videos on how to fine tune and get started. But again, you're getting this for free here. All the templates and everything. Thing. just need to prepare your use case gather data on what sort of fine tuning you are trying to address make those data in this template and go ahead and fine tune and save this model on hugging face and use that model uh, for whichever use case that you need so that's it for this video in the next video probably i will go ahead and fine tune on uh, different examples but this is just a starter video on how to get started with unsloth notebooks because it's now free we have docker image you can download this 60 or 80 plus notebooks here it's really amazing let us wait for the next video on how to fine tune and set up everything but for this video we have seen how to navigate to the unsloth notebooks both in your local system using ubuntu and in your run pod as well so go ahead and check out runpod as well go to get.runpod.io so there's a link get.runpod.io slash e48 go ahead and check uh, get the bonus here and i will see you in this next video thank you